Not getting sales? Try this. What's going on Wolves? Eric Ellis here, CEO of WolvesAcademy.com, the Wolf of Marketing. In this video, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys five tricks that you could apply towards your marketing to start getting results. Now, guys, this works for anything. This isn't just applicable to affiliate marketing. This is if you're selling information products, selling your own course, selling e-commerce products, selling affiliate marketing products, just marketing in general. These five steps are going to be, or these five things or tips that I'm gonna be giving you are gonna be extremely crucial. So let's go ahead and take a look behind the laptop. Now, first and foremost, if you guys look here, the first one is the wrong audience, right? You're targeting the wrong people, right? Now, if you guys look below that, I say something along the lines of the 80-20 rule. And for those of you who don't know the 80-20 rule of marketing is 80% of the work is done before you create the content. Whether your content is an ad or whether your content is a video, right? You need to go ahead and spend majority of your time doing research. The, 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 the marketing is done in the research, meaning knowing your target audience. Chances are, if you're a novice marketer, you don't even know who you're targeting, right? Some people literally think, and they're, they're wondering why they're failing with Facebook ads. They go on Facebook, and then they create the ad first, and then they create the ad for the product, and then they try to go ahead and uh, figure out who they're targeting, right? Advanced marketers know who they're targeting before they even go into the platform, meaning they have their audiences set up, they know who their customer avatar is, they know who their perfect customer is, their ideal customer, so on and so forth, right? So you need to know who it is, right? You need to go ahead and build out a detailed profile, their name, their age, their demographic, their pain points, their problems, what they're trying to solve, what they like, so on and so forth, right? Doesn't matter what your product is, if your product solves a problem or it can help them do something, you should go ahead and craft that ideal customer so that way you can go ahead and uh, build out certain audiences and also make sure the second thing is you can make sure that your marketing message is congruent with that actual audience. So a lot of people, when it comes to uh, the message, the, 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 they're writing the wrong message, right? They're not hitting people with the right marketing angles, right? Your, your, your copywriting sucks, let's just put it that way, right? So at the end of the day, guys, there, there's, there's a formula, it's called hook story offer. A lot of you guys are literally just writing an ad or writing three lines or something along those lines and you're really not getting, you're not getting deep, right? Especially these e-commerce people. Um, and I'm starting to get into e-commerce, but I see a lot of these ads, literally three lines, right? Three lines, they're just getting people that are just trying to get a click. Now guys, at the end of the day, what you can do is you can go ahead and actually pre-sell people before you get them to your product through your actual ad copy. The way you're gonna go ahead and do that is with the hook story offer. So first and foremost, your first line should always be hooking people's attention. Understanding you're you're competing with cat videos, baby videos, so on and so forth. You're competing with all this stuff online. So what's gonna go ahead and get you to stand out? You need to go ahead and whatever the main benefit that your product does or whatever the main problem that it solves, you should be leading with that thing so that way you can hook people's attention. So for example, what was my hook? Not getting any sales, try this. Why are you watching this? Because you're not getting sales. So I hooked your attention because I hooked my target audience's attention, right? That's copywriting. Next is story. So this is this video isn't really a story, but when it comes to your ads, you should be writing some sort of copy, some sort of story, uh, or even your content if you're doing social media posts, attraction marketing, some sort of story that you're uh, that you're like resonating with them, and you and you're tapping into those pain points, and you're tapping into uh, people's emotion, and you're showing them how your actual product can solve their problem. I'm not gonna go in complete depth, but just understand you need to be creating some sort of uh, copy that's tapping into people's emotion, right? That's that's uh, basically like hitting them with those pain points, right? And, 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 and showing them that it hurts, right? And then what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and after you've given them all that pain, you wanna go to make a call to action to the product uh, or the service that you're selling that's gonna go ahead and help them solve that problem. Now the third thing is there's a disconnect slash your content, your marketing content, your, your offer isn't congruent with your marketing. What does that mean? So your basically selling uh, an e-commerce course, but you're creating content about affiliate marketing, or your ad is just general talking about 
uh, making money online instead of like knowing exactly who your customer is and 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 there's a disconnect or your your offer or excuse me your offer is this offer but your ad is saying something completely different or even the copy on your landing page and the copy in your ad is is a disconnect right i know i always talk about making money online because that's my niche but let's just say weight loss so if my ad talks about losing pounds in in 30 days but then my landing page talks about losing uh, oh uh, and then then my ad copy talks about a one week diet guys there's a disconnect right so make sure that your ad copy is congruent make sure that your messaging is congruent make sure that your actual product is congruent with your message or your marketing angle make sure that your stuff is congruent that's probably a that's a really big thing right um just, just make sure it's congruent and then another one guys is number four is follow up you're probably not following up right whether that's if you're doing e-commerce and you're not doing retargeting ads whether that's uh you're you're not capturing leads and doing email marketing for affiliate marketing or whatever whether that's uh marketing and you're not like consistently producing content which is a form of following up because there's those multiple touches because at the end of the day guys it takes people eight to ten times for them to see you to get familiar with you uh to know like and trust you for people to make a purchase guys the days of impulse buying right i know e-commerce is all about impulse buying but a lot of the times when's the last time you made an impulsive decision most of the times you're like uh you know let me go and wait let me think about it and then after you think about it if somebody continues to give you value continues to hit you with those touches you you end up folding like a pancake right so with that being said, the fortune is in the follow-up, whether that's creating multiple pieces of content, whether that's hitting people with email marketing campaigns, whether that's doing remarketing, whether that's following up with people, even aside from marketing and literally just hopping on the phone, say, hey, I know you were interested in this. Are you still interested? Or do you want me to continue to give you information? Blah, 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 blah. And the last but not least, guys, is number five, is your offer sucks. And keyword offer. I'm not saying your product sucks, because at the end of the day, there's a lot of times where people have amazing products they just suck as a marketer right and what i mean by that you need to make your offer irresistible it's an irresistible offer and what is an irresistible offer an irresistible offer is an offer that's so freaking good that you literally throw logic out of the window that's when you tap into people's impulse because you're making an irresistible offer if let's just say your product has a high perceived value but you go ahead and reduce the price point and you go ahead and add something additional on top of that. Like let's just say you're selling a product, but you also offer consulting or you also offer an inner circle group or a mastermind. Like, let me give you guys an example of my irresistible offer. One of my irresistible offers that I package on top of my product, right? So you have your product, your, your offer is not your product. Your offer is the package. So let's just say, uh, I know this isn't a knife, this is my passport, but let's just say on TV, I'm selling uh, a knife, right? Instead of just selling a knife, okay, you go ahead and buy this knife. I'm also gonna go ahead and give you three more knives. But if you take action right now, I'm gonna go ahead and give you two sets of these knives for the same price. But it was $49.95, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down to $19. So for the same price of a $49 knife, you're gonna go ahead and get two sets of knives. Not one knife, but two sets. So you're going to get six knives total for a total price of one knife. But you have to take action right now. So you're getting people to take impulse. And if you decided to look at this later, you just have to pay the regular price of the knife. Boom. Irresistible offer. My impulse is there. I was already excited when you told me you were going to go ahead and give me a full set instead of a knife. And then now you're just going to go ahead and double the set. I'm ready to go. Logic is out of the window. I'm whipping out my credit card. I'm making a purchase. So an example of one of my uh, irresistible offers is if I, I have something called Wolves Academy that is $97 a month. And if you do the math, that's about $1,200 a year. But whenever I sell my courses, if you buy one of my $1,000 courses, I'm going to go ahead and actually give you access to Wolves Academy for life. What does that mean? You're saving $1,200 per year, right? So if you're if you're in this for the long haul, right, you're not going to have to pay uh, $6,000 over the course of five five years. Uh, so that's one thing out of many things that I offer. I offer my inner circle group, my weekly calls, so on and so forth. So I'm just doing it's called value stacking. You want to go ahead and increase the perceived value of your product, and when you increase the perceived value of your product. Then when you go ahead and say, but it's only $9.97, like some people will be like, 
only $9.97. Yes, bitch, it's only $9.97. $97 a month times 12, that's 1200 bucks. You don't have to pay that. Neither are you gonna have to pay this, neither are you gonna have to pay this, neither are you gonna have to pay this, right? Value $10,000, nine ninety seven. dollars At that point, before, if you were to just say nine ninety seven, people would be like, holy crap. But if you structure your offer, not your product, right? Your offer the right way and you go ahead and value stack and put different components within the offer and you and you make it an irresistible offer, you're gonna heighten the impulse and you're gonna go ahead and increase your conversions. With that being said, what is the main takeaways? We need to go ahead and get in front of the right audience, but not only get in front of the right audience, we have to hit them with the right message, right marketing message. And then when we hit them with the right marketing message, we need to make sure that our actual landing pages and offers are congruent with that message. And then we need to follow up those people who get to that sales process. If they don't buy, we need to hit them with remarketing campaigns, capture their leads, follow up with them, follow up with phone calls, so on and so forth. And then we need to go ahead and make sure when we get them to our product, we structure it as an offer, not just a product. What's going to go ahead and set you apart? How many other people are selling the same similar thing, right? What is your uh, USP or unique selling proposition? What is going to go ahead and tie you apart? And the thing that's going to go ahead and tie you apart is how you structure your offer. Make sure you structure it like an irresistible offer. So if you guys gain value from that, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell because I drop heat like this all the time. And if you guys want to a, a, a marketing mentor, if you guys saw any type of value in this, imagine what type of value you guys are going to go ahead and get if you guys decide to put money in my pocket. Get access to Wolves Academy by going to wolvesacademy.com. Now we have over an hour long training every single Monday. We have live Q&A so you can actually ask the Wolf of Marketing himself about marketing and you can go ahead and get access to that inner circle group to where you can have people answer your questions. You can have a support group, a community, and you're going to go ahead and get access to the same type of similar things that I'm using to make money online to where I'll go ahead and literally uh, give you tools, give you resources, and show you guys how you can make money online as well if you guys are a complete brand new beginner. But if you guys aren't a plan, uh, brand new beginner, you guys want to go ahead and take your uh, your marketing to the next level, then go ahead and go to wolvesacademy.com, take action right now. And if you guys are on YouTube, uh, there, the, my number one recommendation to make money online, there will be a link in the description. So thank you guys so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. And until next time, your boy Eric Ellis Jr. checking out.